Is it hot or is it not? Well, we've crunched the numbers and the results are in of the great toy test for 2011. Toy makers predict all the toys we tested are going to be hot, but we found kids may like some a lot more than the others. What do you want for Christmas? As parents take notes for Santa, it's a question they will likely pose dozens of times this season. We want you to get it right. So we went right to the source. In a room full of 59 toys donated from 15 different companies, we let 25 children and their parents go to town so they could tell us what they love. Do you want this for Christmas? Mm -hmm. How much? A lot. Light. I like it. And could do without. It's hard. It's just really hard to put them on. Lots of kids liked the flashy toys and spent serious time with the technology based ones. We noticed parents often had to help their kids get started, no matter the toy or the child's age. I can't figure it out. Well, you turn this on. So I'm still trying to kind of understand what it is. After two hours of play, parents rated the toys, weighing the fun, learning aspects, and cost. For ages two to four, taking the top spot for the toys under 30 bucks is the deluxe pound a peg at $16.99. In the over $30 category, Fisher Price's Topsy Tumblers Twirlin' Tumblin' Fun Park was number one for $43.29. If you're shopping for your kindergartners, first or second graders, you should look at the Scrabble Alphabet Scoop. This is my favorite thing. And if you want to spend a little more, this little gem is a big hit. It's like playing a real computer. The MobiGo Touch Learning System by VTech is priced at $59.99. It has a touch screen and slide out keyboard, a great mix of entertainment and education. For the older kids, eight and up, Hasbro's Bop It has it for under $30 at $24.99. Lego Champion is the champ on the more expensive end. It retails for $34.99. Some parents say they go up in age group when buying toys. I always go a year older because that's, and I want to challenge her. She's, she'll play with the younger toys but she won't stay there that long. And there's always Thomas. The little ones gravitated toward the Thomas and Friends Discover Shed. He just likes to connect the train to the boxcar and then going through. Um, he plays with Thomas trains all the time. So I figured if Thomas was here, he would gravitate towards it. Because it has Thomas. Now, some of our toys did not score that well. Among them, the Ugly Bag Ox, the Spinet Bionic Ear, Hasbro's Coponk, the Flush Royale and Nanoblock. We've posted all the results online. So you can see the winners and the losers. And so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries.